new thing with TikTok. So Microsoft abandoned uh, the talk. You're like, oh, why didn't you save that till later? There's more. So it isn't a sale. So, uh, so it could be banned still, but according to my uh, research, so since this isn't going to be a sale, it's probably going to, ha- uh, well, it's going to cover all, if not most, uh, of the data. Is this enough, though? I'll cover that later. It is because they're storing all of it, or at least in the United States. So this could be enough, but uh, Trump was saying, no, it needs to be sold. Uh, so if it's banned, I'm not surprised. Uh, but if it's not banned, I'm also not surprised. But now there's some debate on saying whether or not Trump's going to prove, and I'm not here to go theorize on that. I'm here to deliver the news, the drama. But... Running parallel to all the previous situation, the Chinese government. So, um, the Chinese, uh, so the algorithm for TikTok wasn't allowed to be shared, um, uh, to the U.S. So, yeah. So, if this uh, wasn't going to happen, Beijing just said, nope, nope, shut it down. So, since this is probably not going to be an outright sale, China's probably going to hold on to the algorithm. It's called a trust, a technology trusted something. But, with this comes new complications. If Trump doesn't approve, well, China's now just gotten its main market, at least in the West, or at least here, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh god, that's counterintuitive, but whatever, it's it's gotten a large, uh, large user base just completely gone. So if you remember, Microsoft didn't take it, and Oracle is now. I don't know what happened to Walmart, though. So, me uploading this video today, they only have three days. Ready? I'll tell you the date. No, I won't. What is the date? It's Wednesday, September 16th. Okay. Uh, so they have uh, until the 19th before they can actually, you know, do anything. So they're cutting it uh, quick. And I thought Microsoft was going to get it done. But no, so they have basically three days to make a sale. And, well, then... Then, uh, ha- then they have to get the Trump administration to approve, and if they don't, TikTok's gone, which is a good and bad thing. But, um, according to top, uh, economic, uh, economists, um, the sale will have massive stock and, uh, money, um, well, well, money, uh, consequences. But it's also expected that um, Oracle will take a portion of ByteDance. Uh, ByteDance being the company who developed TikTok. So, um, it was a bidding war, and basically everybody lost to Oracle. But now, as I said earlier, they only have three days to make the purchase. Otherwise, ByteDance, not going to be happy. Oracle, not going to be happy. The Chinese government, going to be happy. The U.S., not going to be happy. So, TikTok stars are probably going to make accounts on every single social media platform they can find in just mass-producing videos. Like, like there is no tomorrow. Like, if you, if you check once, you're going to see ten videos in a second. Which, smart, I mean, if my platform was going to be the end, I'd just do, like, two videos per day saying, Hey, go follow me here, go follow me here, I'm going to go set up a new account here. Uh, same name. Thank you. But also, you're talking about, uh, people's jobs. And, um, well, even if they're just dancing for 20 seconds and putting, uh, well, putting mattress protectors, mattresses are the best, and put a mattress over their head and say, I'm in a spaceship or something like that. That's $10,000, and now they're going to have to reestablish their entire thing, 
and we're going to have another uh, Vine invasion. And if it gets banned, uh, there's gonna be there's going to be the new uh, thing called a TikTok TikTok star. And um, well, prepare to have Vine 2.0 erased. So even when uh, so also on TikTok, people are saying, "Hey, protect us." Nobody cares. Like, legit, he doesn't care. I mean, a bunch of e-celebs are saying, Please don't ban us, it's for our benefit. Yet, and he doesn't care. That's the only thing. And if it does get banned, media coverage galore. If it doesn't, media coverage galore. So it's a lose-lose for Trump. But, but, um... Well, I lose every single person who's on TikTok if he doesn't provide evidence um, that it's a serious security threat. And if you read the reviews of it, it just hacks my personal data. Like, here, let, let's just go pull up the app and see what's going on. Okay, um, so these are ages 12 plus, and it's number one on trending. Let's go to the reviews. Enjoying TikTok. I don't care. Let's go to the one star reviews. Shoot. Um. Uh, let's go to the one star reviews. Ready? My account got banned for no reason at all. I'm going to be honest. Awesome app. Love Musical.ly and TikTok. About that two days ago, I got banned and. There's no reason. Chinese app. TikTok is the equivalent to... Uh, I can't say it. So I... Now I have to use apps that rip off the version. He got banned. There are lots of accounts with very, very, very inappropriate and pictures. And this is for 12-year-olds. This app is garbage. China. Uh, the app is so toxic. I don't know specifics on how the videos are screened, but there's no consistency, and one that might be uh, considered offensive is taken down by, but while something else is indisputably offensive, is left alone uh, without uh, someone seeing it. So in other words, they're just banning accounts that don't have any weight. Mm. Ready? Then they say they can't like a video. Ready? Literally nothing. It's lit. Oh, whatever. Um. Entirely too much censorship. The other, another app doing the trendy thing by placing strenuous constraints and express of union. Uh, users' opinions. Yeah, um, you can tell, uh, that it's just, uh, nobody really likes it, and a lot of them are saying, well, it kind of sucks, they ban me, they ban people for no reason, and it just follows trends, and it makes everything popular, which is not necessarily a, ba necessarily a bad thing, but try to do better. So, I think uh, Trump's not going to ban it if the sale happens. But, also, um, but it's a security threat. There's no doubt about that. And if you ignore it, you're blatantly being ignorant. But also, um, well, hmm. uh, he got what he wanted. The data to be stored in U.S., uh, in the U.S., or owned by a U.S. Uh, company, and also, um, well, he's going to make sure, uh, well, he's definitely going to make sure it's not a, a, ser a security threat anymore, and it can't be operated by the Chinese, because it, if it can, banned. So, it won't be 100% safe, but neither will anything be. So, yeah. But also... It will be more safe than in the hands of the Chinese. Because 
who caused the thing that we're doing, uh, that I, we're currently doing right now? Oh, yeah, the Chinese. So, take that as you will. Nothing matters about this, because, uh, cause, well, TikTok's still going to stay the same. And if it does get banned, TikTok, uh, Vine 3.0 is going to come around. So, well, I can't pretend, like, it probably, uh, well, everything's probably going to be the same after this. Except TikTok, maybe, well, the same. But also, seriously, if it turns into Facebook, I mean, seriously, how many scandals has Facebook been caught in? But I'm also surprised that it wasn't bought by a giant social media company. It was only bought by Oracle. You know, it wasn't by, bought by uh, Twitter or Facebook or, well, those are the only two I can think of. And it was only bought by Oracle, but whatever. But scenario two time. Trump doesn't agree and wants the algorithm sold. But Beijing won't do that, so then TikTok will end up getting banned. Okay. But also, he, uh, but scenario three, uh, Trump extends the deadline. Now, he's probably not going to do that. So that'd make him look foolish. I mean, yes, let me go set a deadline. Then let me go back down and give the people more time. It's just foolish. But continuing with uh, Scenario 3, uh, let's say Trump doesn't uh, back down. And, well, then the Chinese sue them for, well, or sue the, uh, the government for whatever reason. But I've came up with a conspiracy theory, guys. The courts are run by the government, and you're, if you're suing the government, and it's impossible to sue the government, or at least kind of is. So, my theory is the government is protecting itself against getting sued, because the government runs the court. Amazing theory. So, um, take away of this. Trump doesn't lo- want to look like a fool. The China doesn't want to look like a fool. So, if TikTok gets banned, it's a win for the Trump administration. If TikTok gets sold, it's a win for the Trump administration. If Trump just says, okay, well, you can continue remaining, which is unlikely, it's a win for China. But, that's, but, or, or if he expands the deadline win for China. And, well, you can't really ignore that. So, and, well, his cabinet is, well, smart. I would consider he's smart enough to know this. The more, the better the public opinion of you, of a certain issue uh, close to the election that involves national security or privacy or something like that, that's brought up to mainstream attention. It will usually um. It uh it will usually affect how people vote. So if they see oh Trump expanded the deadline, he's weak. Well, they'll probably vote for I mean Kamala Harris, not Joe Biden. Joe Biden's not running for candidate uh, candidacy. I mean he is, but he's a puppet. That's another video though. But those are all the scenarios I can think of, and a video, bye.